I love this Tony Robbins quote that says, habits shape your destiny. So it's super important for you to really pay attention to the things that you do on a regular basis because they have a direct effect on where you're gonna land up in the future. I'm Kuda Biza and I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm really passionate about helping other entrepreneurs achieve their fullest potential. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing seven habits that you need to implement in 2021 to help drive growth for your business. Okay, so habit number one is you wanna prioritize deep work. So what do I mean by that? You want to start your day by really focusing on the things that matter the most. So don't start the day by like checking your phone, going on social media and things like that, right? You really want to go in and really just focus on the big high level priorities and really get those things done first. So try to limit your distractions and attention grabbers in the morning and really focus on getting a lot of the key things that you really want to knock out uh, for that day done uh, early during the day, right? So for me, for example, I try not to schedule or have any meetings before noon. So from when I get into the office up until noon, I'm really focused on knocking out deep, deep work. So really putting in a lot of attention into the work that I'm doing because that's really what drives the needle. The second habit that I really recommend that you do is have what I call establish an operating rhythm. So what do I mean by having an operating rhythm? So any business owner, you need to have things that you do frequently um, with your team and also for yourself that will enable you to really achieve your goals. So for instance, having weekly team meetings uh, scheduled will really help you achieve great success because you always have a pulse on what's happening in your business and you'll be able to connect with all your team members on a regular basis. Usually you want to have this team meeting at the beginning of the week and also sometimes towards the end of the week so that you can kind of like have a check-in as the week starts, you get a sense of the progress towards the end, but you want to do it uh, on, a, on a weekly basis. The other thing you want to do as the business owner is you want to schedule reports with key performance metrics that you need to review regularly so you know how your business is going. So having an operating rhythm on key things will really help you drive uh, growth for your business because you can make informed decisions because you're meeting with your team regularly and you're also reviewing key KPIs and getting a sense of where the business is going. You also want to have some sort of regular cash management uh, review, right? You want to get a sense of how much cash is coming in, how much cash is going out, because you don't want to suddenly just realize like, oh my God, we're going to be bankrupt next week. So having a process where you're meeting with your bookkeeper or your accountant on a regular basis and really understanding how is the business growing will really help you achieve growth because having good cash management it's, it's the true lifeblood of a business. And then the third one is you need to learn to say no often. You see, as entrepreneurs, we get stuck into this uh, thing where we're always saying yes to new projects, yes to new opportunities. I used to suffer from SOS, which is shiniest object syndrome. So by learning to say no more often, will enable you to stay focused and it will enable you not to take on more than you can handle, right? Because what you really want to do is you really want to stay focused on your key goals for the year and make sure that you just focus on executing those. And then once those things are knocked out, you can then bring in new projects and new opportunities. It's good to listen and review as new opportunities and ideas come in because you might be able to find that golden nugget. However, you need to be comfortable saying no and staying focused on what you truly want to achieve. Now, the fourth habit that I really recommend you uh, focus on 
is you want to prioritize your health and wellness. So what do I mean by this? So think about really taking time to uh, have a good workout routine, right? You want to make sure that as the business owner, you're exercising, you're in good shape, you're eating well, you're having good, healthy sleep, because it will enable you to really come with the energy, the focus, and the mental clarity that you need to really drive your business. Uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, we find ourselves burning out, right? And having bad uh, eating or exercise habits, and we're just focused on driving and growing the business. Well, if you yourself, you're not healthy and you don't have the vibrancy you need to actually execute, then you won't be able to enjoy or even see the business growth that you're trying to do. So you really want to make it a habit to prioritize your health and wellness. Now, the next two, number five and six, they're connected. And the next one really is you want to have a killer evening routine, right? What I mean by this is you want to be able to really make sure that you come up with a systemized way um, to close out the day. Tom Brady, uh, who's probably one of the top peak performers uh, in the world, he has a structured routine on how he closes out his day, right? And you want to do the same thing too. So make sure that you really establish a killer evening routine that will really help you get started with the day. So one thing I'll share is that I used to not really have an evening routine. And when I implemented an evening routine in my life, it was a game changer because what it did is it reduced the chaos in the morning. Because one thing you need to realize as a business owner is that tomorrow starts today. So if you take the time each day to plan your schedule in advance, to reflect on today what you were able to achieve, what are some of the high priorities for tomorrow that you need to focus in your deep work uh, time, uh, scheduling your things that you need to do from an operating rhythm perspective and even your health and wellness, and really just having a routine to, to, to do that is super important. And also even making sure that you also allocate time for those other areas of life that you really need in the evening that are not related to business is super important. So for example, really scheduling time with your family, your spouse, your kids is something that will also help you become successful because then if all areas of your life are you know, level 10, you're able to come and show up in your business um, quite strongly. And then the one that obviously follows the evening is the morning, right? So you wanna make sure number one, the night before, you have a really good uh, habit that enables you to reset, rejuvenate, and reflect. So it's the three R's. And if you click in the description below, there's a workshop where you can actually go and check out where I talk about uh, the evening routine. It's a free workshop that you can watch. And then you want to have a killer morning routine, right? Because how you win the morning, you win the day, right? So you have a killer evening routine and a killer morning routine, and you wanna make sure that each morning you are exercising, right? You, you get your body to move, and also secondly, you spend time meditating so that you bring calmness to your morning. So if you're a person like me who's a Christian, you, you can pray, or if you're into meditation and other things like yoga, highly recommend that you do that because it's a good way for you to start your day. And you also spend time focusing on self-improvement. So reading a book, listening to a podcast will be something that will really help uh, add tremendous value um, to your entire day because you are really uh, you know, improving and developing yourself during the morning. You want to also make sure that you take time also reviewing the plan that you would have set the evening before to just make sure there's nothing additional that you'd like to add to it. Maybe an idea came up at night while you were sleeping that can really transform your day. Um, there are two books that I recommend uh, that can really help you establish a good morning routine. One is Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod, and the link to that book is in the description below, as well as The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. The link to that uh, book is also uh, in the description below. So go check those books out if you haven't already and, and read them. They have really good tips on how to really establish a great morning routine. And then the last habit that I believe every entrepreneur, side hustler, whatever, needs to take 
in order to see your business grow is you want to take massive action, right? Because if you don't take massive action, your business is not going to grow. So it's good to establish all these goals and milestones that you want to achieve. But you, if you never take the action required to achieve those goals, you will never achieve your goals. So if you implement these seven things in 2021, you'll be able to see uh, your business really take off because you will be able to really allocate a lot of time and energy in high priority projects, have an operating rhythm that gives you the ability to get a sense of how your business is moving and how it's operating. You know, make sure that you're not distracted by opportunities that just come by. You, you stay focused on what you need to do. You focus on your health and wellness so that you can come and deliver and execute with the energy and the vibrancy that you need. And also, you have a killer evening and morning routine to make sure that when you start the day, you start the day with a lot of energy, your mind is clear, you're not tired. And also when you go to bed, you, you calm yourself down, you spend time with your loved ones and you prepare for the next day so that you have enough energy for you to take massive action. So go out there, take massive action and um, see you on the other side. And hopefully you get your businesses to the level that you want to see them at.